Um, Nikki, thank you so much. Uh, this is the first time we're meeting, mm -hmm. but I've heard so many good things thank about you. this sandwich shack, about your restaurant. Um, so I absolutely had to have you on thank our you. YouTube channel. I wanted to interview you about your business because I've heard so many wonderful things here in the thank community. You. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what you have here? Um, we've been around, I think it started like 14 years ago. I bought it from my previous boss. He had done it for a hot minute. I worked for him for six years at that point. And when he was done, he gave, you know, made the offer that if I wanted it, option was first mine. And I was like, absolutely. I put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it. Sure. Um, built the clientele. I was the only server for a really long time. Um, but it's, we're really focused on healthier, heartier, like if you leave here hungry, there's a, a huge problem. <laughs> this um, is my kind of place. <laughs> and not, not for lack of our effort, I promise you. Um, but it's, you know, we try to make sure that, you know, you have great options. We have gluten-free options. We have a lot of salads and, you know, things like that. But um, fresh, we use a lot of, everything's fresh. We make small batch salads every single day. We use local produce for, you know, our produce in here. We get every single morning um, fresh cut meat, it's every, meats every day, um, homemade soups, all that stuff. So homemade desserts, we just, we try to keep it fresh and things you want to eat and we don't bring in a lot from outside to consume, I guess. But um, I love that. We, we try, we, we try really hard and homemade is huge for me. I don't want, I don't like going out and knowing that, yeah, that came from a bag or that, you know, like, and you can tell the difference. So it, you, it's, absolutely. it's a huge deal yeah. and that's a big compliment we get is, Everything's always so fresh. Everything's always homemade. Um, we carry one soup that has been with the business as long as it's been around. That's the lobster bisque. But I make every other soup that comes in. So um, there's always a homemade soup option, always different desserts. Um, right now we have cookie skillets in there. We have peach cobbler, things like that. And people rave about and look forward to and ask for us to call them when we're making it so they can come in and have it. So it, <laughs> let me know when the right. peach cobbler Exactly. In. <laughs> we know we're doing something right there because it's, it's it's stuff like that that makes it you know, yeah. worth it. People love what we do. So. I can't wait to try it. My mouth is watering. <laughs> well, that's good. That's you're great saying thing. all of this. That's you said lobster thing. bisque and I was like, how am I drooling? Uh, <laughs> I made a crab and shrimp chowder yesterday and um, or two days ago and this guy came in yesterday and he's only ever been in like a couple times or whatever. He's like the crab chowder he's like you know how is it and the server was like he's she's like it's wonderful everybody loves it and, you know the, the owner made it and it's fresh and whatever he's like you know let me have a let me have a bowl he has a bowl about an hour later he's playing cards and about an hour later he's like can I get a cup of that and he's like I, I want some more and she's like all right no problem she goes back a little while later to cash him out she's like you ready to go? He's like, I want to get a quarter of that soup to go home with me. I was like, all right, cool. I guess you really like it. And I'm Can allergic. I, how much more of the pot do you have back there? I'll just take it. I have it. a lady who does that with my chicken and rice soup and chicken and noodles, our chicken noodle soup. She's huge on it. She's like, I swear it's magic. It, no matter how crappy I feel, I can eat it and I, I feel amazing. So awesome. I, I love to hear that kind of stuff. It's repeat customers and local word of mouth is huge for us. And sure. everything we get back is about you know how fresh it is and how good it is and it's it's a lot when you put so much into it and you're back there so much and one of the reviews we got the other day was um you can tell they love what they do because of how good everything is every single time so that's awesome it means a lot so. yeah absolutely oh that's really nice feedback too right especially when you're here from you know sun up till sundown absolutely. every day yeah. i get here most days um 6 30 is kind of late this morning i got here at 6 40 and i was like oh my god i'm so far behind um but i'm here <laughs> the life of a restaurant <laughs> owner <laughs> i'm here by 6 30 most every day um my one girl's here by seven um and we start get everything going for the day and my cooks start coming in between eight and nine but it's because we make every salad in house we make fresh every day every you know our specials i I try very hard to create new specials all the time. I watch a lot of Food Network, a lot of foodie stuff. I'm in, I have stacks and stacks of food magazines and I go through and find things that work and how can I twist this and tweak that and mix this with this. And so I, I try really hard to keep the specials different, um, get a lot of compliments on that just because there's always something different to try. Um, and I try very hard to nod towards our other regions and stuff because it's, this area is a mix of everybody. I'm yeah. native of Florida. I, I'm born and raised multi-generational. So it's for me, I have a lot of local home stuff that I love, but I try very hard to try to make for everybody's For palette. everybody. Like today we ran a lobster yeah. roll. Um, tomorrow we're doing a beef on weck, which is something I had never in life heard of. 
Did somebody say, hey, I haven't you, either. Yeah. yeah, like, can you make this? And I was like, let me research it. I'll see what I can do and I can probably come up with it. I have to make the rolls here. Like you have Kaiser's brought in and top them the way they're made and do a special step just to make sure we get it. But people love it and we get a lady came in today and she's like, can I get two of those specials for tomorrow? My daughter's like, I'm really, really busy right now. I know who you are, but yes, I will have two of them for you tomorrow. <laughs> so it, it's nice when you make that effort and people yeah. notice it, so they Absolutely. enjoy it. Absolutely, and the, it is nice too. I, what I particularly love with like family run businesses or local businesses is when you come in and you see the same friendly faces mm -hmm. over and over again and you get to know like your regulars or your customers like Absolutely. there's definitely something about having that familiarity and the recognition and it, like you know mm -hmm. the, connection the connection with your community with members yeah totally and that's Absolutely. one of the things I love most about living in a small town like I'm not from here originally mm -hmm. I uh, moved from North Carolina but okay. I was from a small town the really is a smaller town feel especially Sebastian Absolutely. Absolutely. Vero Beach is growing but still small town and mm -hmm. and I always just like kept to a smaller town because that's really important that I me. prefer I grew up in the Keys I moved to Port St. Lucie as a teenager and it was much smaller then and as it exploded I was like mm, I'm out <laughs> and I left and I came here and I've been here since 2006 and yeah I love it it's grown a lot just in the time I've been here and in a lot of ways that's yeah. great and then there's other ways you're like can we just stop a little bit <laughs> we can't yes, stop yes. Well, we can but hold on to some of the exactly. good charm and we of do. it all. we try and with our customers we do we have we have customers that we have sandwiches named after because they are one of peter and barbara they're here five days a week <laughs> and if peter can be here on saturday he's coming on saturday but his wife barbara says i have to eat somewhere else one day <laughs> a week so he gives her saturdays um but he is funny he loves the soups. He's a soup eater and he comes in and he'll he's one of those that he'll eat a soup. He's like, oh, that's really good. And he'll buy it by the court to take home. And he's one of those guys, but he is here five days a week. And like I said, if he could be here six, he would. But we have a lot like that. We have a Peter, it's his sandwich is a Peter Panini. It's made exactly what he wants, you know, how he likes it. We have our Megan sandwich, so which is a girl who's worked here, our, come here for years. <laughs> and we run her sandwich as a special sometimes. And she, I, put it out on Facebook as a, a Megan special, a Megan sandwich, because for her, you know, she created it. I give the nod to her, so but yeah. we love our locals and our regulars, and we have a lot of regulars, which is great. Off season, we do well because we do have so many locals. Um, through COVID, if it wasn't for our local base, we never would have made it through. And we watched so many restaurants and businesses shut up, you know, shut down yeah. and disappear we felt extremely blessed. We could not have been more thankful to have customers would come in and buy gift certificates just to put cash flow going through the building. And they're like, we'll give these away for Christmas next year. We'll use these next summer when everything's cleared. We never saw that most of them ever come back with them. They would gift them out or whatever, but they never came back themselves and use them for anything. So we were super, super blessed through all of it. We're very thankful. That's really nice. Yeah, what a blessing, really, they honestly. Are. Well, hopefully we'll get you some more <laughs> regulars we'll from this them. video. We'll take them. That's you. the hope. Absolutely. So I do want to know um, who tries out your new recipes. Like when you create a new recipe, do you try them or do you test them out mm -hmm. on your family? Most, actually my staff, and they love it. And they <laughs> there, there are some things that I'm like, no, y'all, we're just going to have to wing it and see how it does. If it's, you know, 99% of the time, though, it's I make one, they test it, they tell me. I'm allergic to, to shellfish, so anything with seafood. You can't do. Anything with shellfish, I can't do. Um, so, like, the shrimp and corn chowder, or shrimp and crab chowder, I couldn't try, I couldn't try it. I couldn't taste it. So I'm like, y'all going to eat this? I'm like, sure, no problem. you got to tell uh, me if it's yeah, good. If it's horrible <laughs> or not. Um, they love desserts. I made a cookie skillet for the first time this week, and... They are my, oh, they're so good. A la mode. Uh, yes, yeah, that's exactly how we're serving it too. Um, but I made one, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's way too early for cookies and ice cream for me. And I, I get it done and all you Not smell. Not everybody Not, uh, No, I thought they were gonna kill each other over it. I was like, y'all, you're good. They're, I, I need more of that. But they're my guinea pigs. I don't I do not do many things at home and try, I do it here. Do it here. Yeah, uh -huh. and if, it, if it's a flop, then we just don't run it and we move on and <laughs> we never speak of this we again. don't speak of it again and there's things that I've, I've made that I'm like nope I'll never ever in life do that again yeah. so it, it never even hits the floor so but that's my, part of the crew. creative process it, of being it, a it chef is, right? absolutely yeah. my crew is definitely my guinea pigs they and they're willing participants all the time they've never complained about having to try it but they are brutal brutal they have no problem telling me mm, not so much but, uh, 
I know it's part for the course, though, right? Absolutely. I mean, if you ask for the feedback, you you got to take it. You can't you can't say, oh, I, that's just no. You yeah. just got to take it. You got to be thankful. Yeah, it's uh, nice that you have people that will be honest with you too, because you want everything to be a hit, right? Perfect. Everything that you're what I want. Out. <laughs> yeah, to your customers. I think I'm a little extra sometimes yeah. and a little particular, but that's good. It's, that's it makes a, a huge difference. It's your passion, right? Absolutely. This is your baby. Absolutely. So, can you tell us a little bit about? Uh, well. Tell us, um, what are your hours? When can we come and get your delicious food? We're here what 11 to 4, night? Monday through Wednesday. We're here 11 to 8 on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We are closed on Sunday. No, never in life change. Rest. Yes, we need a day of rest and that is it. Um, but it's full menu, different specials every single day, different soups every couple days, different desserts every couple days. Um, and. Most of them in there are pretty nice. And a little sassy sometimes, but it runs. That's okay. We like that. <laughs> it runs. We like that deep. around here. <laughs> it runs pretty deep. They get the, my girls at least get it naturally, so it's all yeah, right. I was say. A little They're sass good. never hurt anybody at all. At all. <laughs> at all. Most people appreciate it, and you have to know your audience and sure. who you can get away with it with and who you can't. And most of the time, they're they're pretty good about it. So. So, what is your favorite meal? You personally, what do you love to eat the mm. most that you make? I love our roast beef melt. Okay. It's mushrooms and onions and roast beef and horseradish sauce and it's a panini, so it's really, really good. Um, and I think my cold one's probably a shack attack. It's shack Tur attack. Shack okay. attack. It's turkey and avocado, Swiss cheese. We have a really good marble rye um, we get from a, a local bakery. Um, so it, it's it's a it yummy one. It sounds up right in my alley. It's, it's a yummy avocado one. and turkey involved. It's a good one, That's yeah. That's my, my duo that I love. Oh, yummy. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm actually going to go order something when we're done. <laughs> oh, God, I'm glad. Because I'm really hungry. I'm now. glad. There's two of our wonderful regulars right there. <laughs> okay. um, so, is there anything else that we, we haven't touched on? I didn't really have to ask you many questions. Um, uh, that you want to share with the community or anybody who hasn't visited your restaurant yet? No, we do. Um, we have our first responders and our veterans and stuff. We do offer discounts for them. Our teachers, which are huge. Um, like I said, I have a lot of kids. So <laughs> the teachers mean the world to me. So we, oops, absolutely. We take a lot of um, pride in the fact that we really do look out for them as well. We offer discounts for our teachers and stuff. I'm sure they appreciate um, and that. And they do. Yeah. We're, we're a big part of um, taking care of our athletes. We try to, you know, we donate meals and stuff for them um, at the high school uh, and contribute to PTA events throughout the elementary schools. Um, like I said, the the schools and the teachers mean the world and, and to me in my world. Absolutely. Um, so, and most people, uh, yeah. right? Most people If you have, have any children, children, you want to make yeah. sure that you, you know, you stay connected and you let them know that, hey, you're you're looking out for mine, so we kind of look out for you. Yeah, that's nice. Um, but we, we do. We, we try to do a lot with the community, especially the schools and stuff, so. Nice. And, and do you do any kind of like catering or events? We do. Okay. We do. Um, we have a lot of events over the next few weeks. Um, mostly small office stuff, things like that. Um, we did, what was it? We did a political party, like an after party type thing a couple weeks ago, um, which was really nice. Got to kind of show off the, the fun stuff. I like to make things pretty and that's pretty much my favorite part of what I do. So okay. um, yeah, we do a lot of that stuff and keep our hands busy that way. Um, but that's more stuff I handle more so than yeah. putting on my staff. I try not to dump too much to the extra crazy in their laps, but they, it, <laughs> they're good. They're, they're good about it. They're going to take it in stride, but yeah, we do all that. So we're going to put all the Sandwich Shacks information, contact information, okay. location, everything down in the description of this video. Um, do you want to let them know what's the easiest way to find you? Uh, mostly on Facebook is our most, um, used platform okay. uh, we post our specials every week pictures of our food awesome. um, when we have events going on we do uh, we just did our fifth trunk or treat okay. um, and it was huge uh, people love it we see all of our regulars and people come out um, but everything's pretty much on there. Everything we do is on Facebook. Cool. We have Instagram. That makes it we don't easy use for everybody lot, to get. Yeah, no. <laughs> Facebook is the one best. place. Yeah, one, it, one funnel. All, and I only have time for one. <laughs> That's cool though fast. that you post your specials on on your Facebook mm -hmm. page too, so everybody can kind of keep going back and looking, and it Absolutely. makes it exciting. Absolutely, and we put them out for the week, usually Sunday or Monday. Um, and when I don't get to it, like I was out for a few weeks for medical, and I didn't post and every morning. Where's your specials? We haven't seen our specials this week. I'm like, listen guys, I've been off for medical. I'm really sorry. I'm trying, but I, I'm back to work so I can, I can take care of that stuff. But 
the people count on it. They're like, we plan our entire week for, you know, what the days we're ordering and what we're stuff. doing. And yeah. that's awesome. But yeah. it, it puts me a little bit of pressure. You're kind of like, oh, I shouldn't have started that because I'm keeping up with it. What yeah. do they say? With great power comes great, great responsibility. Great responsibility. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> to be people. No, but, absolutely. So, so wonderful. Thank you for having us. My I'm pleasure. really so delighted that we were able yeah. to feature you. I hope that you do get an influx of business. You're uh, just like such a warm, wonderful yeah. person, I can I tell. I appreciate that, thank you. And um, I cannot wait to try your food. So. I think you'll be happy, I do. Yeah. I mean, like you said, we have lobster roll tonight, and then, uh, I'm trying to think, oh, and I made goulash today, so, you know. Nice well, and warm I'm about and cozy, to go so. check out the menu, so. Well, I think you'll be happy. Thank you so much for having pleasure. us. Pleasure, thank you.